today's video, I'm going to show you a simple step you can use in Adobe Premiere Pro to get incredibly buttery smooth slow motion. This step is primarily designed for footage that you shoot in a frame rate that your finished product will also be in. So let's say you shot your original footage in 24 frames per second and you would like the finished product to be 24 frames per second. In general, if you do slow motion with this type of setting, it will be very jittery and it will look really bad. Fortunately, Adobe came up with a way of addressing this. Adobe came up with a time interpolation method that's called optical flow. Simply put, optical flow fills in the missing frames that are created when you set a video to slow motion. When you shoot a video in 24 frames per second, that means there are 24 individual frames in one second of video. So think of it as 24 individual images in a row each second. Those are what make up that motion and what your eye sees. If you were to take a 24 frame per second video and make it 50% slower, there will only be 12 frames per second. When you have 12 frames per second, the human eye is going to notice this and it's going to look really bad. It's not gonna be smooth, it's gonna be jerky and jittery. Optical flow helps interpret those missing frames and it helps smooth that. And it actually looks pretty incredible. So what I did first of all, is I did optical flow on clips that were 30, 60, 120, and 240 frames per second that I slowed down to 24 frames per second. Optical flow doesn't really make a difference with these clips because I had already previously interpreted them as 24 frames per second. By using that method of interpreting these higher frame rates as 24, I don't have any missing frames in there. If you haven't seen my video on that technique, I've linked to it above so you can check it out. I highly recommend it. I'll show you here what optical flow looks like on the 30, 60, 120, and 240 frames per second video. Now this footage doesn't look bad, it just doesn't do anything for this footage because this footage already has enough frames to go around. I'm now going to import a 24 frame per second clip so that you can see what it looks like with this clip. I'm gonna drag that clip to my timeline here. And I picked this clip because there's a lot of motion in it. It's me running up a road in Hawaii, uh, YPO Valley, incredible hike by the way. If you're ever in Hawaii looking for a great hike, highly recommend it. But I picked this clip because it has a lot of motion and this theoretically would be a more challenging clip for the optical flow effect. What I'm gonna do here is I'm going to slow this clip down to 50% of the original speed and show you what that looks like before optical flow is applied. All right, I'm gonna render this clip and then I'll play it back so you can see what it looks like before optical flow. All right, so as you can see at 50%, that is pretty jittery. It's not smooth, it doesn't flow well. So we're gonna go up to speed duration and under time interpolation, I'm gonna select optical flow. We're gonna go back and render that. It goes red, it's gonna make you think the rendering will take a really long time, but in most cases it doesn't unless it's a really long clip. All right, now let's take a look after applying optical flow. All right, that is much, much smoother. In fact, that looks incredible. It's a night and day difference from the clip without optical flow applied. And what I like about the optical flow technique is this allows you to make almost any clip slow motion, even if you didn't film it in a higher frame rate in the field. So sometimes I've gotten back to the studio and I've been like, oh man, I should have filmed that in 30, 60, 120, or even 240 because that would have been a great slow motion clip. Well, with optical flow, I can now take the 24 frames per second footage and make it slow motion. This gives you a lot more flexibility when editing, and it helps make sure you can use almost any footage you want for slow motion. If you found this video to be helpful, please click the like button. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll be happy to answer them. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe and notification button. I'd love to have you on board. And until we talk again, Happy buttery smooth slow motion.